Let's say you're done modeling your project and now you want to detail it. You grab a very nice pore brush or other detailing alpha brushes. You zoom in really close and you start dragging on your brush. Even though your model might be at a high subdivision, sometimes that's not enough to get that really crisp look that we want, like so. So what can we do when this happens? Well, ZBrush has a very interesting tool that enables you to take your detailing to the next level. HD Geometry is a tool that allows you to divide your model into 1 billion polygons or more while taxing your system way less than normal. The reason being is that it only takes into consideration the polygons that are on screen being rendered right now. To access HD Geometry, simply go to the tool panel and find your way to Geometry HD. Click that. Hitting Divide HD will create a HD Geometry division on top of your existing subdivisions. Keep in mind that you actually need to be at your highest subdivision in the Geometry panel for this to work. Let's hit Divide HD on this project. So now, not much has changed, but I can hit that again and now I'll have multiple HD subdivisions. Let's say I want to sculpt on this area right here and add my pores in. You notice that right now, nothing is enabled and the pores look just as muddy as before. To select this area as my Sculpt HD area, simply press A while hovering it. Do you notice that now, it's almost as if that area has been carved out visually from the rest of the model and it also looks a lot higher density? Let's try dragging on our pores. That is a big difference right there. To turn off Sculpt HD, simply press A with your cursor outside of the model. You will notice that we can't actually properly sculpt outside of the selected area. And if I try to do so, since the selection has been done asymmetrically, it only works on the side that you can see has been highlighted. To really tell the difference, I'm going to turn on Polyframe and you'll notice that the only active area is this one that's been selected. This was selected by, again, me hovering over it and pressing A. If you want to make a symmetrical selection, I recommend turning your model to the side and pressing A on top of it. This way, the whole face will be selected as HD geometry. If you want to make any big changes or simply get out of HD geometry mode, simply press A outside of your model. You'll notice that the details we just added go back to looking a little bit pixelated. That's okay, everything you've been doing has been saved in your HD Geometry subdivision, so if at any point you want to see it again, just press A outside of your model. While you're not actively in HD Geometry mode, you can choose to divide up the Divide HD button as many times as you need. The higher you are on the slider, the more you'll be pushing how dense your mesh is and how crisp your details will look. Keep in mind that higher subdivisions allow you to push the details further on your model. However, the radius of the selection will be smaller every time to compensate. If you don't like the round aspect of the selection, turn off the radial region select mode and instead it will be a square. Like so. Pressing A outside of your model not only turns on and off HD geometry mode, but also it allows you to preview and render it. Sometimes, and this isn't the case with this model, there will be little holes like missing polygons all over your mesh. That's okay, don't worry. If that ever happens to you, go to display properties and turn on double right here, which allows each polygon to be visible from both sides. That will close all the holes for you. To create a BPI render with your HD geometry visible, go to render, Render Properties, and simply select HD Geometry. This will make sure that once you hit Render, or you do your render passes by hand, or use the ZBrush to Photoshop plugin, all of your wonderful details will be visible. This is an incredibly powerful tool, and it's really the key to getting crisp, wonderful details that will make everybody super impressed. So make sure to play with it and see what you can do.